So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I want to talk a little bit about Frost and Frost Prime, more specifically the IC Avalanche build for Frost and Frost Prime because it's gotten quite a bit of a buff with the latest update. The IC Avalanche setup has been my go-to build for Frost for a very long time, it is just absolutely fantastic. Now just in case you don't know, IC Avalanche is an augment for Frost's Avalanche that gives you 60 points of like frosty shield for every enemy you hit by Avalanche. This icy shield is really good because it's consumed before your shields, it scales with power strength, it protects you from all states effects and knockdowns and any ally that's within the range of your avalanche when you cast it will get the shield as well. I've done missions where my entire team had zero damage taken because of this augment. So how did it get buffed? Well you see avalanche has always had this armor stripping component to it where when you cast avalanche the enemy will be frozen for an X amount of time that's based on your duration and while they're frozen their armor is gonna be reduced based on how much power strength you have. The problem with that is that the vast majority of frost builds would actually sacrifice duration in favor of other stats so you can get more range efficiency and strength. So for most builds the freeze would only last for a split second. However, not only did Veilbreaker buff the armor stripping scaling so it's much easier to hit 100% and strip all of the enemy's armor with a single cast, it also made it so that enemies immune to crowd control, so mostly Eximus units, will be hit by this armor strip as well, and finally and most importantly, it made the armor strip permanent. Which means that 99% of IC Avalanche builds just suddenly got free 100% permanent armor strip on them. And that is just awesome. So here's the build that I run for IC Avalanche and I absolutely love it. I've been using some variation of this for a few years now. The one thing that might seem a little bit strange here is the rejuvenation aura, but I run it there on purpose. It's just in case someone gets battered really hard and they take a bunch of damage to their health. But it's not that important. You can run whatever you want in here. Now after that we're gonna run power drift, intensify and a fully ranked transient fortitude. This gives us 200% power strength. This is more than you need for the armor strip but it still buffs the damage of avalanche, the shield from icy avalanche and it gives your snow globe more health. If you want to save on some format though you can take out power drift. Next on the list we have a fully ranked fleeting expertise for a ton of efficiency so that we can cast avalanche as often as possible. Next on the list we have stretch just so our avalanche covers a larger area and then I'm personally running archon flow. This is really unnecessary though, it just gives you an extra chance to get an energy orb when you kill an enemy with a cold ability. You can easily replace this with Prime Flow, Regular Flow or even another mod because you don't necessarily need all the extra energy, it's just a nice thing to have. So you can put in more efficiency, more range or even more strength. Now after that we of course have to put in Icy Avalanche because without it it wouldn't be much of an Icy Avalanche build and we top it off with some defense and I personally went with Vitality and Steel Fiber. Now this is also very optional, you don't necessarily need extra defense under Icy Avalanche but sometimes things don't go your way, you might get unlucky with energy or you might get hit by something very very big so it's nice to have extra defense underneath it. And the reason I went with health and armor, armor specifically, is because it double dips on frost. It gives you more defense, but it also gives your snow globe more health. This build is somewhat basic. Nowadays you can go a lot harder with this kind of a setup. You can go with umbral mods, all three of them, go vitality, fiber and intensify for more health, armor and strength. And you can of course slot in archon charts to become even spicier. But even my somewhat basic setup is still more than good enough for all kinds of stuff and it's still my preferred like go-to build for defending things, whether it's normal defense, mobile defense, excavation or even interception. Basically whenever something needs to be defended, this is the build I will run. But anyway, that is it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it helpful and you will give this setup a shot and I will see you next time. Bye bye.